goes for anybody trying to install this T bracket right here for T fitting for the transmission cooler line. Um, I know it says 2003-2015 Dodge Ram Cummins, the 68RE or 68RFE, but for some reason the picture's not as good um, or descriptive as actually what's under my truck. But I have the 2007 and a half, and I haven't found any videos for the 2007 and a half. Um, so I'm making a video right now, but I used this small pipe cutter right here. You can get it from Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, China, but it works great. Um, this is the T fitting right here. I already installed the temperature sensor into it. Um, used Teflon tape. Uh, of course, I used all these tools right here as well. Um, you can get any of these at local Harbor Freight or even Home Depot. Oh, a little bit windy out here. But I basically had to get, so this is the lines that we cut. But in the picture, let me show you again the picture really quick for what they said it's supposed to look like. It's like that. So this is supposed to be your front drive shaft. So let me show you underneath my truck. There's a wee bit of oil everywhere from messing around, but... So when you're looking at the transmission... Oil pan... Um, let's see... Front and drive shafts right here... That's your oil pan for the motor... Oil pan for the transmission... So these are the lines right here... The lower line is the return line from the cooler... This is your hot line... The one above... So the hot line is on top... And the cooler lines below but you're gonna have to use the hot line to install the t-fitting so i just followed that and this is the cut i made i'm not complete all the way i wanted to make a video to show you guys exactly what i did before i finished off the job but there's two little brackets one's a plastic one and then one's a metal with a, a grommet in between so this is the metal one i'm talking about it tells you about it it goes right here and it, there's like a 14 millimeter bolt that's right there the transmission all you have to do is undo this bolt and to get this bracket completely all the way off so you can be able to wedge the lines apart so you don't have to take the whole lines apart um i used this little flathead right here and all i did was because there's two little pins right here on the side the flaps i just basically wedged it under one here going this way Pried it up and then coming back the other way was a little bit tougher. So I tried prying it up a little bit with my pick tool. Um, and then the rest of the way I just, you know, picked up with the flathead. But that's one of the brackets. So again, you know, the hot line's on top, the cool line is below. Follow the hot line, made my cut. But I got this one out of the way, and this little bracket first with a 14 millimeter bolt goes. I took, undid the bolt, and then I took the bracket off using the flathead and my pick tool. And then, in order to be able to pull the lines apart so you don't have to fight it with the pipe cutter, is there's this little plastic one, too, that's going to be up there. So, in order to get it out, this is what it's going to look like when it's wrapped around the lines, like this. It's a little further up, but I'll show you where it's at. Um, to get it off, all you do is you push this side push this side in and you get like a flathead or something and you I'll try to do this with one hand and you pry up right there in between here and here so again you push here and then you pry up in between there these two pieces right here and it'll come undone this clip is so following the lines all the way up here it's gonna be up there just undo that clip just undo this clip and then take that little bracket off where the 14 millimeter bolt is and you'll be able to wedge these two lines apart so you're not fighting it so much and just grab like a regular rag or a towel or something and like shove it in between these two right here because you'll have a little bit of play in between it but not much so just put it in there for a wedge and then you're good to go for a little pipe cutter will actually be able to pivot around a lot easier and then you probably just have to push against the cooler line 
to cut the rest of the way with the pipe cutter. But definitely get the smaller pipe cutter because they don't they don't say that also in the in the book or the instructions. So again, this is for the 2007 and a half Dodge Ram Cummins, the 68 RFE transmission T fitting install. Um, I have more videos also. I'll post it all together for the glow shift install kit because I have the four gauges. It's the transmission cooler or transmission temperature sensor, the fuel pressure sensor, uh, boost gauge, and then um, my EGTs also. I'll post all that together so you guys can see. All right, 2007 and a half Dodge Ram Cummins T fitting install. Okay, so I was a little nervous about, um, so I said you didn't have to take the line out. Well, the full line runs all the way up to the cooler up front. And then uh, you gotta have to, you have to have a special tool to get the front one out. But for the rear one, all you need is like a pick tool or even a small, tiny flathead. And uh, I was just nervous about metal shavings falling in there but to deburr it. Uh, let me show you the guys again. So there's the line over there, you know, where I cut it from. And this one is the top one. So this is that top one right there. You see how the bottom one's in there? It's that, that, that little plastic clip right there. Um, so I'm gonna put this down. So all you do is you pull this back. I guess I can show you all this one. Oh, there's like a little... Pull this little plastic clip back. Get it. It's easier with two hands. One hand, I'm trying to show y'all. Okay. Hold on, guys. Again, this is the, the lower one. I'm not trying to take this one off, but I'm gonna show y'all. More pain in the butt. All right, so use the pick tool, pry it most of the way off, and uh, right there you see that little metal clip. It's like a C ring that wraps all the way around. Well, you can use a pick tool to get it off. Let me grab the clip real quick. So this is what it's gonna look like. You don't want to lose this clip because that would suck. But that's what that little guy would look like right there. So you literally just pry off one side here, one side there, and you just pull it up or you pry one side off and then put your pick tool or your flathead in there and it'll pop right out of there. It'll literally pop right out of there. So you just focus on in here real quick. A little metal clip, you just pry it up, one leg here, and just pull the rest of the way out and come off. You can slide it back on, it's pretty easy. Um, So I took the top line out, the hot line out. I know that I said I wasn't going to, but I did just because I was worried about deburring it. I already deburred that. And I already deburred this. I just didn't want any metal shavings to fall in there. I'm on the ground right now, if you guys are wondering. Um, so here's that plastic clip I was talking about. You literally just pull it back. And then there's a little clip around here. Um, you just pop it out and you pull the rest of the line out and you just do it backwards when you go to put it back in there you just put the line back up in there you push it in and then uh you put the clip around again and just make sure it's all clamped down and snaps in it's like a snap ring and then you just put the class plastic clip back over it and then you're good to go let me finish this up and i'll show you guys what it looks like all together so it also doesn't show you like a picture of how to it's installed, but you just take the nut. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this, you see the fatter end of the little um, cutting ring. And we're gonna point outward, away from the teeth of it. So, make sure you put your nut on first, and then you'll put your cutting ring on. Same thing here. Put the cutting ring on. Left hook, you know, a good amount on there, and then. The nut, so your nut, cutting ring, and then you're ready to put this yeah, together. Yeah, everything is connected now. Put the fitting in there, put the brackets back, the brackets back there. That's the one I was telling you guys about that 14 millimeter bolt. You just take out, take this bracket off, 
And then I put that other clip back up there, like I told you guys. You got this one. That one just holds mine, but this this clip right here is the one I was telling y'all about. You should get off and then get this one off right here. And then you'll be able to wiggle these two apart. But everything's reconnected and it's good to go. I'm just uh, about to turn her on. But uh, I'll recon I'll connect these in a minute. I'm gonna turn it on just to check the fluid real quick and then add some fluid to the transmission and should be good to go. Looks really nice. Pretty clean.